Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at TRI's collaboration with HBB called Kai. So HBB, of course, is Hawaii Bad Boy, also known as Bad Guy Good Audio Reviews. So uh, do check that out. And here's what it looks like up close. And I'm going to try to not put uh, a ton of fingerprints on it. It's uh, a super nice looking uh, metal shell. It probably is less than a fingerprint magnet that I'm uh, hinting at, um, but just for the sake of review, I'm going to try not to uh, put too many fingerprints on it. But the faceplate is sort of a dual piece. Uh, and I don't know if we can actually see that on camera, but it, it actually does say TRI HPB Kai on it. So super nice looking shell. It's actually a little lighter than uh, what you are thinking for a metal shell. It's, it's very, very nice and uh, not that heavy at all. Um, kind of lightweight for how it looks. And the cable itself is uh, has the same gold colored theme in SPC. So a nice cable, super nice looking shells. I put the mat down just in case so I don't have to scratch them up. Uh, I don't know if they scratch easily, but I'm not really going to take a chance at this point. So let's kind of dive into it. So why do we, you know, why as a community, why do I as a reviewer get really interested in collaborations? And pretty simple, I, I like to hear his library, whether it's HPB or other reviewers who do collaborations, always interesting to hear his library, his music, in a signature that he prefers. This is really his point of view, and that's uh, really kind of super interesting to me. Perhaps others will disagree, but that's really why I, I sort of did collaborations and why I hope this trend continues You know, with HPB and other reviewers. Um, because it, it actually is very interesting to hear people's take on music and library and signatures and what they do on tuning. It's uh, really interesting to me. Secondly, if you are a HBB bad guy, good audio review fan, you know, sets like this, as like Melee and Alina, really help you understand his reviews and his terminology when he talks about bass poles and releases and cymbals and drums. You know, these are all things that, that, you know, a set that's actually been tuned by him give you a better understanding of what he means by those things. So, yes, I very much like listening to classic rock on Kai because that's really what it was tuned for and that's what his intention was and that's his point of view on it. So, very, very cool um, in my head about that. So, before we jump too far into it, I do want to just give you kind of a couple disclaimers. One, getting a set early like TRI Kai is, is exciting and I very much enjoy it and feel very lucky to have that opportunity. But with that you know, opportunity comes the, oh, by the way, we need this review in a short amount of time. So it has a time crunch on it. So I would certainly like to have spent more time with Kai before I had to record this, but um, that's sort of the balance on this one get it early, review early, so uh, so reviews are out there when the product launches. That's sort of the intention behind that. And second, you know, HPB's target and my target and his style of tuning and sets that he likes and I likes, there's a lot of overlap there. So don't be too shocked if I really, really like this one. Other people who may not um, prefer this style tuning, you know, may not like it as much. You just really have to understand, you know, people's backgrounds and what their preferences are and this one you know going all the way back to the blonde bl03 you know those are that's a set that both of us really loved and and this is you know more of a refined cleaned up you know more you know, definitely more refined version of that style tuning but at its core it's not all that far and those of you like me who like that sort of weightier meteor mids low end you know, that style tuning very much appeals to me. And so not too much of a surprise that I like this set uh, very much. So number two is probably the most important bit on this whole sheet. So Kai, like I said, shouldn't be too surprised by any fan who's followed HBB for any length of time. It very much follows his target and it's sort of a solid execution of his target with a couple changes. And those changes are really important to me and we'll see how this all plays out in the community, but um, I'm very much a fan of, of these two changes right here. So the bass level, especially from Melee, it dropped, you know, maybe that's two decibels. Maybe it pushed a little more out into the sub bass and a little less in the mid bass. But for me, I'm very much a 
let's reduce this mid bass by 2 dB because it makes the mids much, much cleaner for me. I love when people do that. Um, so if you combine this change, a little less mid bass, cleaner mids, and then you relax the gain just a little bit so you can turn it up louder and there's no peakiness, you know, these two work together in tandem very, very well. And I've talked about that you know, a lot. Um, some of these tuners should really stop increasing one, you know, we have a sharper gain here like on Melee, so we, we bump the bass up a little bit to compensate for the two. But when you get a tuning like Kai where you reduce it and you reduce it, that's, that's magic. That's where your mids really come out as super natural and super clean. Um, that's a really great formula for me. So, like I said, for me, these two changes um, the most important thing on this whole paper. So, as I said, a bass push down um, just a little bit. That's perfect for me, um, and that's really to balance it with it with the softer gain, a little lower gain from melee, lower rise. You know, maybe that was inspired by Dark Magician. BL03 is right there at the same level. That really cuts fatigue. Very much a seamless transition to the treble and very natural mids. Nothing goes out of place, lots of meat on tracks, not really any loss of energy and detail. It's just really hard to find that balance and to get that right. So, you know, so kudos to him for really getting that balance right. And, and you know, I actually give props to KZ for the same thing. Every time they lower the bass a little bit and the gain comes down a little bit, you know, that's just a more refined tuning, something that you find in more expensive sets. And, uh, I very much like that move as opposed to increasing both, which just gives you more V, uh, more bass that needs to be more compensated by more gain, and that's uh, not the move I suggest. So sound-wise, you know, it, I'd say it's either a very shallow V, it's barely a V because the bass is elevated enough, but the, really the treble is not. It's a very, very relaxed treble, so it's kind of hard to really call it a V. It's sort of a one-sided V, which I think is more like an L. It's sort of an elevated on one side and, and sort of flat on the other one. So not surprising, it's still a bass mid-focus set, uh, more in line with Melee, BL03. All those sets sort of have its foundation in bass and mids. And this one tends to finish with a very relaxed, non-fatiguing treble. So um, that's what I would call that generally what it sounds like. And as I said before, um, I very much relate to these kind of style of tunings, whether that's Melee or BL03 or the modded version of Alina. They're all sort of in the same ballpark of sound. Um, very much a um, kind of a meteor mid sound is what is how I would describe it. So bass wise, you know, again, not all that much of a surprise. This is a DLC driver. HBB is very much a um, bass fanatic and he spends a lot of time finding the right driver with the right signature and the right quality of bass. So this one, you know, is just going to be a great reference for 1DD note weight, uh, for rock genre and R&B. You know, that, sh that should be no surprise if you watch any of his videos. That's what this thing is tuned to do very, very well and it does. So bass quality is the focus here, and that mid-bass level being a, a dB or two, like I said, a little bit lower. For me, that really hits you right in the mids, and it's not, it doesn't because there's just a little less bleed. It's just a cleaner sound, and for me, that's what that's what I noticed first was, you know, the bass actually the quality is high, but just bringing the levels down just a little bit cleans up everything else. So do check out a track like Rosanna by Toto or Take Five by Dave Rubeck the drums, right? HPB talks a lot, a lot about drums. You know that those were going to be good, but the first time I heard Rosanna, I got stuck on it, and I kept on going back to that track over and over again. There's so much to that that track. Just because you have drums in the beginning, and then it transitions into more of a vocal mid-section track, but the beginning, the drums, immediately hooks you. Um, it's very, very a weightier style. There's lots of low air energy, lots of engagement, lots of musicality. It's very addictive. And I sort of counter that with sets that uh, maybe like an Aria SE, a set that's that's tuned quite leaner. It's, it's a different sound, it's a different preference, it's a different signature. That's not what Kai is, and I, I can appreciate that, but there is really something to this weightier style that, that is uh, very much addictive to me, and I kind of keep on going back to sets that 
exhibit the same signature. But, you know, occasionally I do like the lean set. I, I do like Ari and I do like the lean sets for their clarity and detail and resolution and all those things that kind of come out of that signature. So mid-wise, so very natural. Uh, those of you who are into BL03, Melee, Alina, the modded version especially, natural, surprisingly fun, head bobbing, inducing body and weight. You know, if you've ever heard R&B and rock tracks and that bass actually gets, that's what draws you in and gets your head moving and your foot tapping, that's what Kai does. Um, meant to be heard at some volume, like just my two cents on that. I think Dark Magician had the same exact thing. I wasn't really a huge fan of Dark Magician at a lower volume, but once you turn it up and get fully engaged, um, the mids were kind of magical. And I think Kai is a little bit in the same way. Because of the relaxed upper set, I think you turn it up just a little bit and everything falls in place. I'm very, very happy with it at, at, at higher volume, and I tend to listen to it at slightly higher volumes, and this one just kind of played right into that. And there's no peakiness to it, so you can actually keep on turning it up if you uh, are that that style of person, that style of listener. As I said, the focus is, is really on the lower bit, on the lower mids, and even the bass, but the mids are really the standout for me, and it, it's it's... It's just different than what I would say on Melee, where Melee was maybe a perhaps more of a V-shaped set, and the vids and the mids may have been set back a little bit more. Um, Kai doesn't really come across like that um, because they brought the bass down a little bit and the gain down a little bit, and you end up with something more. And I would say it's very close to being mid-centric. Um, it's kind of wild, especially because I have heard Dark Magician, and I know that that was inspiring on. Uh, on Kai, but it actually comes through right there in the vocals. It's just different than Melee, and I like it very much more than Melee for this simple reason. Two changes, you know, big changes that rolled through the whole signature, and a lot of it comes through right there in the mids. So still weightier mids, still not, uh, you know, super technical, analytical. That's not what um, HBB would tune to. That's not his target. So keep that in mind that these are really great in the style that he prefers. So um, think about that. And like I said, Rosanna by Toto is just a really great example. So that initial drum pulled me in, but then when you stay with it and hear the vocals, you're like, wow, this is kind of surprisingly open. The mids and the bass kind of falls in place a little bit lower than the um, vocals because it feels a little more mid-centric. So you don't have that bass really rising above the vocals. Everything falls in place, and then by about 50 seconds, I was about totally hooked when that uh, when those voices kick in. And then it actually gets better from there, but about at 50 seconds is sort of where I was committed to that song and uh, kept on repeating that song. Um, very much, really, really nice. Um, so I think some sets end up being too lean, dry, sharp, shouty, sibilant. Those are not even close to, in the Kai's vocabulary, that is nothing remotely close to what uh, you'll hear about Kai. Um, very much a weightier, thicker, um, lower end drums, R&B, rock. Um, those don't really, are not compatible with uh, what Kai really does and what the signature does. So keep that in mind. So treble, very much relaxed and smooth. And the lower gain um, is really different. And we can kind of look at it right here. So the bass, great change. But just dropping this down, you know, a couple dB as well, you know, it really smooths out. There's there's no peak right here. That little, for those of you who are fans of Tangent Oxygen, you know that spot right there is a little bit fatiguing. And especially when you drop it down 2 dB, it becomes super nice and smooth. Great transition. There's nothing really behind that 2 or 3k to mask the upper treble, it just sounds a lot more balanced. And I call it unmasked because if you bump up that, especially that 2.5 or go even back to 2, raise it where people say things get shouty, it tends to hide everything beyond into the upper treble. And that all this is just when you lower that level, clean it up, make it more open. I just call that just being unmasked because there's no longer this peak or anything really hiding uh, what happens after that initial pin of game rise. So this one definitely, like I said, handles more volume if that's your thing, but it's really just better balanced from 
all the way from the lower treble all the way through extension without any peaks. And uh, it's kind of special in that way. Dark Magician, also special in the same exact way. So yeah, you can, you can feel the influence if you've heard Dark Magician, but that's sort of where it becomes apparent to me. And this level, as I said, it sounds more mid-centric, like Dark Magician, cymbals, guitars, synths. They definitely stay in their lane. They don't rise above to cause any fatigue. They definitely sit right there in, a, in that mid-centric lane. So um, quite nice. And I'll say, so extension, treble extension, one of those things that came up with Melee, you know, this is his point of view on extension. And if you watched his video, you know that he pulls out the spectrograph and you know that that extension covers his library and that's what his preference is. That's his point of view on it. That's what he prefers. That's what he does. Other budget sets, more expensive sets, tend to bump up way out here. They throw a big peak, throw lots of air. Maybe that gives you more detail and trouble. It's just a style and a preference on that, what that tuner does. That's not what this one does. It basically falls off very naturally. But, um, you know, I would say that that is very much his preference, his point of view, that natural slope, that natural slope down without a really a big bump. And that definitely does cover his library and this style of uh, music. So that's what that is. So stage. Very nice. It works well for the mids. Uh, definitely a very big central vocal image. And again, I think it's actually different than Melee. I think it's much better than Melee in that respect. Um, very well positioned and, and there's actually width in the stage so it actually feels spacious. Nothing feels you know, too closed in. Nothing feels overlapping. Plenty of separation, great layering. And that, again, that sort of falls out of this well-behaved mid-bass for me that tends to cloud up stage like that. And treble, the same thing. When you reduce the treble levels just a little bit, and you don't have treble levels you know, flattening the stage, which is what they tend to do. Um, sometimes you get extension out of treble. Sometimes it actually, if it's too, if the level is too high, it actually flattens the stage depending on where that peak is. So this one, you're sort of getting the best both of best of both worlds. Uh, clean mid bass and treble that isn't congregating at the top of the stage. Um, it definitely helps out with separation and clarity and positioning is just spot on on the stage on this one. So again, thank you guys for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time.